as promised this is the summary video for the green nature diamond hotel and you know we've been here for over a week now and it's it's been an amazing stay but let's talk through some of the key highlights and also some of the areas for improvement with this hotel so firstly let's talk about some of those pros it's the kids club that really makes up a big part of why so many families choose this hotel there's a really engaged team that keeps kids active throughout the day and ensures that they're really really captivated by a group of staff members that really give their all to the kids that they work with and that's something that really stood out for us both in the testimonials we heard before but also when we came here on site we'll then also talk about the beachfront location and of course that's a a big tick box for any hotel where you can leave your room head head through to the beach and enjoy a stunning stunning view as we can see beyond us the poolside bars the food by the pool they're also a great win for us if you need those light refreshments you need a drink there's often not a big queue to deal with and the sun lounges are pretty much accessible throughout the, the day as we reach what is close to full capacity at this hotel we've still seen that resources aren't too stretched and you're very much able to get what you want in a timely fashion we we'll also talk about i guess the the entertainment and um, the evening entertainment is you know, it's really extravagant at times they put on shows ranging from different parts of the world and put those together on a stage to ensure that everyone is really catered for that includes the kids um, this the kids club actually runs from 9 30 to 11 on some evenings and some of those evenings include karaoke throughout the day we've seen face painting there's a lot going on there for the kids the location itself is is pretty convenient um, as mentioned it's a beachfront location if you continue to walk left for about 30 minutes from the beachfront, you'll be able to reach the main Marmaris Town Center or the Grand Bazaar location. Great for shopping, recommended to go there on a Sunday when a lot of the markets are open. The other part to consider is it's, it's very much an English speaking hotel. You know, most of the staff members we've spoken to are able to communicate with us. And if you compare it to places such as Antalya, um, which you know typically maybe have other languages spoken more prominently, it's English, which is the, uh, the common language here. And it, it really makes for a nice experience. Let's move on to some of the areas for improvement. So oh, this is listed as a five star hotel. I think it's, you know, pretty obvious for us to say that it's it's probably closer to a four and a half star i understand this hotel was built in the last decade or so and it could use a refurbishment with some of the rooms aging and you know some of the facilities at the hotel needing a you know a refurb to an extent when it comes to the food the food you know we spoke about some of the good areas the poolside bar being good for a quick refreshment but the food can get quite repetitive now, when it comes to breakfast it's pretty much the same menu day in day out if you're a big uh, big fan of your eggs you don't get to choose how you'd like your eggs done they're typically served and then you have to collect them and then when it comes to lunch you know you do have the option to go indoor from 12 to 3 to, from 12 to 1 30 or sit outdoor at the poolside bar from 12 till 4. so whilst there is you know the same food coming in day in day out there is an option to go either by the pool or eat indoors. And, and dinner is where they try to, to change things up slightly. We've seen a few different themes. We've seen a Chinese themed evening. We've seen um, a Middle Eastern themed evening. And it, it does, of all the different um, food options, it seems that dinner does seem to, to change the most. You get, of course, the a la carte option to use one of their three restaurants, something we'd highly recommend. And then let's just quickly talk about the beach itself. So the beach is a sand beach, but does have rock and pebble um, alongside that sand. So it can be quite treacherous as you try to walk through to reach the, uh, the, the actual waters themselves. Just be aware of that if you've got young kids and you know, if you've got any, in, any injuries to, to the legs or feet. The reception staff could be a bit friendly. You know, when we were when we were greeted at reception, we didn't have someone immediately helping us with the bags we had to go and find someone 
the reception staff told us that there'd only be one key per room and if you have two individuals in a room that can be troublesome but the rest of the hotel staff were pretty friendly i'd just say you know the first experience of the hotel is, is super crucial and you know maybe they had a bad day but you know we'd say that the reception area itself isn't or didn't prove as welcoming as we would have liked and then let's talk about the the overall aspect of this hotel so good value for money i think when it comes to the price range you'll pretty much see that you know it, it sits in the the middle range it's not at the high end the ultra all inclusives that you might see so you know if we're thinking some of those chains of rick sauce etc it, it's not at that level and the price reflects that but it's a step up from some of those smaller hotels that you might see it's it's certainly above a four star so i think that's important and it delivers a lot of the the key key um key deliverables that you'd be looking for when it comes to ticking a hotel list the entertainment overall as i mentioned is another big win here whether it's the kids whether it's the adults when it comes to some of the the drinks and the the beverages arguably they could provide some of those more internationally imported drinks you know as a good example the mini bars are replenished daily but instead of providing maybe a fanta they're providing their local drink but you do get a pepsi a seven up included there itself when it comes to the alcoholic drinks a lot of those are, are used or produced locally so just be aware of that and you may have to pay a premium to to get some of those local favorites that you're looking for you know from the team here that you know has helped us you know put this video together we'd like to give them a big thank you and to the hotel it's it has been an amazing stay um, and we hope that this video has provided you with some insight to really make a decision as to whether you want to to head out to this hotel and whether this hotel is going to really meet your expectations and we we would say it has done for us in many many aspects if you can please like share follow this video subscribe to the channel it would help us generate more content for you and the teams out there and we hope that this has provided you with some of the answers that we were looking for when we were attempting to, to book a holiday thank you